Hello everybody, welcome to episode 7 of Pocket Planes Let's Play. I changed the intro a little bit, I guess you can see my cursor there. So I started playing this game and I realized I had like 52,000 coins or whatever. So I decided I would get some more airlines, which you'll see in later videos because I kind of recorded all of this at once. It's a... Uh, the reason I recorded it all at once because it was about 15 minutes and I know myself I don't really too much watch a lot of 15 minute videos but when I do I want them to be kind of interesting and pocket planes isn't really an action packed explosions <laughs> lots of dunks and all that kind of stuff going on it's not really that kind of game so that's why I break it up into this um, I noticed a lot of reviews on Metal Gear Solid. Oh no, let's talk about Aliens Colonial Marines. So I have played absolutely zero minutes of that game. I have, however, watched an entire playthrough. Um, who was it? MK Ice and Fire or something like that before the game released. And I am disappointed. And I know I'm not the only one because, of course, if you haven't lived under a rock, most of the reviews are not really the greatest. So, yeah. Graphically, the game doesn't really look that good. Not even on YouTube. And I even watched the game in 1080p and it, it did not look that good. Um, it definitely looks better than... A PS2 game definitely that but it does not look like a game that was produced on a PlayStation 3 towards the end of the PlayStation 3 you know how typically games at the beginning of the of a console cycle don't look that good uh, I'll use Madden as an example even NBA 2k because NBA 2K6, as opposed to NBA 2K13, two totally looking games. They look totally different. And Colonial Marines does not look that, it doesn't look that good. Now, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look that bad. Also, I really thought that the game would have been scarier. Because at first, I was kind of scared watching it. Aliens pretty much scares me anyway. So, but the game did look kind of scary watching it, but after a while it was like, where are the aliens? And for most of the game, you're not even fighting the aliens. It's like Whalen Corporation infiltrates the Sulaco and then you're fighting them. But it's like towards the end, you do end up kind of fighting both of them at the same time. At the same damn time! But that wasn't even that interesting to, to watch. Now, no, it could have, couldn't have been that interesting to play. So I know myself, I won't be spending $65 on this. If anything, I might even actually purchase Aliens vs. Predator, the new version. I think it came out in 2000 and... I want to say 2007 on PlayStation 3, but I think it came out around... 2009 or something like that. I don't know. I'll find it. Maybe I'll play it. If the multiplayer is still active, which it should. Or no, no, no. Aliens. Yeah, Aliens vs. Predator. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I have uh, several more episodes coming up. I'm going to be talking about, of course, all the stuff I want to talk about. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Shout outs to all those that sent me uh, messages and comments um, asking to continue this series because I'm going to try to continue this for as long as I can. I do thank you all and stay tuned. Peace.